city under siege to a crazed killer. Stalking us outside, he's struck three times already, and the police seem powerless to stop him. The first victim, Francis Ryle, a 29-year-old small-time racketeer, but this is no gangland slave. Victim number two, Johnny Fleischmann, a successful car salesman and businessman found dead in an alley. And the third victim, gambling ex-boxer Eddie Babyface Bates, gunned down and dumped among the garbage cans. Chicago wonders, where will the executioner strike next? Sam Malloy Investigations, how may I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Malloy's not here right now, sir. Goodbye, sir. That's my girl. Sam, Kaufman's called three times already today. You better give him some news on that 20 grand. And fast. Yeah, yeah, I'll call him. Do it now. I don't want him chewing on my ear again while you're daydreaming. <laughs> I'd only be dreaming of you. Oh, my God. Annie. You knew her? Annie Lois. She was my best friend. We grew up together over in Maywood. Gee, Velma, I'm so sorry. She worked at the Blue Flamingo. Taking pictures. I told her not to take the job. I just seen her last night. <gasps> well, Sam, you gotta find out who did this. I'll find him, honey. Anything from my favorite girl. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Blue Flamingo, Chicago's home of fine entertainment. We've got a great show lined up for you this evening, so let's get right to it with our beautiful Flamingo dance. The Blue Flamingo, a nightclub over on 47th Street. The place Annie Lowitz had worked and the place that linked all the bodies together. Everybody had a story to tell about it, and each one was crazier than the last. See, this was the black and town joint on the south side. It didn't matter if you were white or colored. So long as you had a throw to throw, nobody gave a damn what you were or how you got there. How many more times do I have to listen to this bullshit? Ah, you're gonna burn this, you hear me, boy? You're gonna fry it, please, Mr. Manny. I swear to you, I didn't do it. I confess, you son of a bitch. Come on. Mike Brandon's investigative skills, man, he could make anyone confess. But if a city's soul is measured by its public officials, seems Chicago's was going straight to hell. Got your love. Johnson again. I'm not gonna let her get away with this. So when were you gonna tell me you were running out of me, huh? He's gonna send you a telegram from Mexico. Where were you today, sugar, huh? I was at the salon, baby. Don't ever double cross me. I told you, you know what I do to people who double cross me, sweetheart? It ain't pretty. Mike, no way! Story, are we? You're so stupid, bitch. And I don't forget. Where's my money? You get your money. No! 
Hi there, Sammy boy. Well, I guess if you're reading this, I didn't show up for work today. And you know me. If I didn't show up for work, I guess that must mean I'm dead. That's a shame. Reckon I could have got a Pulitzer for this one. Okay, Sammy boy, just to be sure I didn't die for nothing, here's the scoop. I know who the executioner is. 